Hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Today I going to continue building this. Well, um, this kit is a uh, coffee that get from the Gunner F91. You can see right here. But this is not a uh, HD kit because uh, I mean a uh, HG. Sorry. Uh, because when this kit came out, there is no not starting the light call high grade or something like that. Uh, high grade is a uh, is a production line later uh, after 95 or something I don't remember but this, this kit is came out at uh, 1990 so yeah it's a really old kit uh, well I did show you the this kit in the in my third or second video I don't really remember but yeah, uh, this is the last kit I built before I stop building the Gunpla. So yeah, I will try to finish this before the RE100 came out. Yeah, why I'm going to build this? Because uh, the RE100 <coughs> kit will came out uh, really soon, uh, about uh, February or March in 2018. I yeah, they said this around that that time. So uh, yeah, I will try to finish the kit up and uh, a little bit scale uh, specification here. You can see this is only a 15.8 meters mobile suit. So it's a pretty small mobile suit in scale but uh, well all the f91 or f90 something all the kids are quite small yeah just a little bit bigger than the v gundam the victory gundam yeah well uh, and the weight you can see 8.9 ton yeah the weight is a little bit crazy but anyway the data setting is uh, a little bit weird yet yeah, at that uh, point we'll just take a look at the side you can see that this is the fully painted uh, fully painted uh, kit and this is some data about the kit this is the back wheel and it came with the beam suit with the key part and yeah, this is the back of the kit. Well, I can tell you all the purple you need to paint it yourself. Just open it up. Let's see how much I did done on this kit. Well, if I first scan, you can see uh, this is the manual that I will saw it uh, with this later. All the water slide become yellow, yeah, because it's uh, already too old. I don't know will I still using or can this build, can this thing uh, can use, but uh, I will try to use the emblem right here if it can still be used. And you can see all the parts are silver yeah silver and this is a robbery uh just a poly cap uh poly cap with some holes right here you can see it in, in it should be on the shoulder of the mobile suit and all the parts are silver yeah crappy silver so all the purple parts you need to do it with the paint paint it yourself sorry yeah, a lot much have, have done on this, so yeah, all the things need to be, yeah, uh, nothing special I've done is, yeah, all I have to do is just build it up before the kit came out, just with the menu a little bit, just a normal menu, a old type of menu. This is about the scale, well you can see right here, yeah, this is the gym I believe, and you can see, yeah, this guy is really small, with a beam rifle, a beam launcher, a beam shield, uh, I don't see this guy have a beam saber, Oh, he have uh, he have a beam saber, but I don't know where it's put it on. 
you can see right here beam saber tool anyway uh, just a very simple kit first is the leg then the arms with the solder yeah you can see right there the arms is a uh, the three finger and a uh, one finger that is movable then the waist then the body keep going on the body and then this is the head and then the backpack is set it is thin nozzle finally is the weapon yeah just a uh, two parts uh, on the beam rifle and then yeah it's a really simple kit try to let's try to build it quick okay just uh, finish the slam one build yeah there is a uh, lot of parts list to be fixed on this kit well first you can see all the parts are yeah still farish yeah the crappy metallic color of the bandai is all, always also uh, always crappy but a little bit fixed uh, just a little bit grey on the back uh, first turn. yeah the first turn. all the first turn are grey the, and the seam slide yeah lots of seam slide you can see right there uh, that's the old uh, putty I had in uh, about a decade before so yeah I need to be we we make it this is the beam rifle yeah just uh i believe i just uh put some uh primer on it with a uh, hand paint so yeah the it is very cost yeah and i will need to fix it all up and you can see right here the hand yeah and the finger is uh, really loose uh, I don't know I can fix it or not but anyway and yeah all the joints are loosening up and yeah the the construction are really simple you can see the skirt armor um, right there just a little hinge on the waist I don't know if I can just uh, remove it uh, well anyway you can see right there just a pin uh, not a pin of rope or, and a clamp right there yeah it's a really simple kit but uh, yeah let's see if I can fix it a little bit oh by the way the back uh, the thruster yeah this uh, really loose I don't know if it can it be fixed or not so uh, let's step is uh, the fixing all the seam slide and then paint it silver first well there's a special thing right here you can see the head uh, because the album is uh, quite already molding inside the model kit so I don't know if I can just hand paint the emblem without using the water slide decal. Well, you know the water slide is uh, pretty old. It's all turned yellow. So yeah, uh, maybe also we'll try it out a little bit. Uh, if I can't, well, well I will just stay just, uh, try using the water slide decal. Okay, by now I uh, just get all those parts uh, prim primer up and then just a uh, final loss of uh, imperfection on the sanding so I need to add some um, putty to it and then just uh, set it down again just uh, do a little more extra work Okay, uh, after sending down all the parts and then we do the primer, now I will begin the first coat of the color. The, for this kit, I will use the Gaia, the Star Bright Silver, yeah, just a uh, normal silver, and yeah, just try it out for all the silver parts.
Scottish silver looks like a little bit uh, white, more white than I used to use, but uh, anyway, it's okay. Yeah, just uh, much more shinier than I thought it will be. Okay, now just uh, painting some thruster inside the thruster. Well, I paint the red first, and then I need to do the do the masking for the side. First, just uh, cut a piece of uh, masking tape. Cut a little bit. Just uh, make a little cone slip and then just stick it right here so you can just uh, well, just now I will test it out by a little bit. As usual, I'm using the Phantom Grey. Okay, just like that, and then, yep, uh, it came out pretty nice. I like that. Okay, just doing all the same thing in the all first time. Huh? 